Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University. Now today the dredge owner is in town. He's uh, resupplying, getting more fuel and taking care of some personal business. And the last couple of days he's been kind of laid up because he overstressed himself moving some big rocks. So I've been working on the table, reworking some old cons from previous years and stuff like that off the dredge where theoretically all the gold had already been recovered to see what was going on, how well it happened, whether or not we'd gotten good recoveries in the past, and also working uh, some uh, concentrates from this year. This is some really challenging stuff. It's really flaky gold. I mean, I actually saw a piece about an eighth of an inch across, literally flipping over and over on my table the other day. It is like gold leaf. And then we have a lot of heavies in the uh, black sands. So here's how we've been dealing with it and some tips on magnetic separation. So here's the procedure that we've been using. Start out with dredge concentrates. We want to plan the blondes out of them. Just keep bringing the blondes up and washing them out. By using a circular motion, you can bring what's here up front, like there's a rock right there. And I've got those rocks to the front. Shake them out. And get rid of them pretty easy. See how this black sand's the front? Close the back. We'll reverse that. It's home playing day. this particular river, there tends to be a lot of magnetite, which is very dense, and very flaky gold. So you'll actually have gold floating on top of the black sands in some cases. It's really quite bizarre and annoying. The gold should just sink right to the bottom of the black sands. But that's not necessarily the case here. So, now that we got it down to what it looks like as black sands, We'll do a magnetic separation. Our fancy magnetic separator. Drop it to try and release anything in there. And put it off to the side. Repeat. I discovered, while running testing with my table, that this procedure loses a fair amount of gold in the magnetics. It gets trapped between those magnetic particles as they get picked up. And so I'll show you how to both test and cure that problem in a minute. Now I'm not being real careful here because dredge owner is actually going to deal with these super concentrates. So at this point, I'll simply take this, put it in a bucket for him, and then I'm going to work on these magnetics and the blondes and see how much is in them. And go from there. Okay, so now that I've panned it down, I have blondes, I have magnetics and I have super concentrate. 
I need to go through the magnetics to try and make sure I'm not getting gold trapped within the magnetics. Now gold's not magnetic, but it can be physically trapped between the magnetic particles as they're gathered together by the magnet. Now this is our really high-tech magnet here. Just a one quart bottle and a magnet. A little piece of tie wire. So, we'll take a little bit of magnetics, throw it in here, and pick it up. Now, that's leaving material there. Then I move it to this pan here, spread it out again, do it again, drop it a third time, spread it out. Pick it up again, drop it in here. This I'm going to put over the table. These I'm just going to pan down a little bit and see what they look like. So let me finish up with this and we'll see where we wind up. Okay, so we started with about this much in the way of dredge concentrates. Of which we wound up with this much super concentrates and this much magnetics. Now, when I did the pick up and dump, pick up and dope, this was the first stage, the second stage, and the third stage of gunning through those magnetics, trying to get all the non-magnetics separated out. Let's see how much gold we missed. So let's see what the results are now. This is the first stage of panning. I mean of the magnetic separation. And as you can see, there's still quite a bit of gold in there. Second stage still has significant quantities. Now mind you, these are real thin flakes. They're not nearly as massive as those size particles in most streams. And here, we're getting pretty darn close to almost nothing. But look at that one giant flake there that somehow managed to make it through. Now, at each stage, I dropped it into a fresh pan to try and minimize the particle thickness on the bottom to make it as easy as possible for the magnetics to come away from the non-magnetics and leave them behind. But even then, we're three stages after the first separation of the magnetics, you're still getting significant gold in the third separation. So, you should really check that out if you got lots of magnetics. This, we have lots of magnetics, lots of magnetite, very dense and real flaky gold here. And this totally sucks when it comes to panning it out. Much, much prefer nuggets and very little magnetite. I know it's probably going to be pretty hard to see. But to give you an idea how floaty this gold is, there's gold right in here on top of the black sands. This stuff is a real pain in the butt to separate. Still got a lot of work to do, but there's some of this flaky gold. You can see it's way the hell out there. Even as carefully as I can do it, look at how this gold just moves around. Unlike your usual gold. This is some really challenging stuff. It's been really interesting to work with it. Look at that. It just doesn't sit on the bottom like it's supposed to. So, happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.